We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight to hold support here at the 465 area. And in today's volatility, our SPY buy at 9 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows cross the midpoint to the upside. Full strength on 42 vision and call options went up 200% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index continuing to fight to hold support and testing key resistance levels and in today's video, we're going to break down the key levels I would watch going into next week. What's going on with the inflow versus outflow and born bear indicators. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run today was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run idea was from our AMD bot. Our AMD bot at 8.55 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside, full strength on 42 vision, and call options went up 110% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump to these charts. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, doing a full transition from the dip area to the rip area today. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which I'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index with a bull indicator popping up here on the 30 minute in the first half of the day at the 466.50 area, finding support above 465 and canceling out that bear indicator from yesterday at 469. But you could see how it acted as resistance here in the second half of the day, right? It actually brought itself up canceled itself to the downside and here it is trying to come back up and rejecting right at that level where the bear indicator popped up and a bear indicator has popped up now to cancel out that bull indicator from the first half of the day at the 467.80 area and it has not confirmed but in the next five minutes on the 30 minute if it confirms this bull indicator has been canceled right so huge rejection up here at 469 definitely something to not ignore and a bear indicator now popping up to possibly dominate over this chart now when we zoom out and look at it from the one hour we could see in the bigger picture for the first time a bull indicator popping up canceling out that bear indicator from the 477 area and now popping up here at 466 77 area and here it is trying to find support at that level and it's going to be crucial here into the close and going into next week 
if this can actually be used as support as a bull indicator popped up not that far off that level and here it is breaking through it but i will be watching that going into the after hours and going into next week and the volatility of the 15 minute right when we zoom in we could see here a bull indicator in the first half of the day at the 465 466 level and then going ahead and doing a full transition from the dip area to the rip area and a bear indicator popping up here at 468 and you could see that rejection there in the second half of the day and here it is fighting to get itself back over 467 in the live action right after hitting 466.50 bouncing back up and that's going to be crucial here if it could continue this staircase effect within the volatility right so i'll be watching that closely going into next week now what's going on with the inflow versus outflow we're going to pull it up and we're going to break down the key levels i would watch going into next week here we are with the spy stock the s p 500 index with inflows crossing over into the open and justifying that move to the upside here in the first half of the day now outflow started to dominate here in the second half as we see it it's crossed over and it's at negative 1.38 so far and this is going to be crucial for it to level off and switch from red to green and pull back up to justify any move to the upside as we are seeing the spy trying to get back up here in the live action above 467 so that's going to be crucial and i would not overlook that here within the inflow versus outflows on the 30 minute now when we zoom out and look at this from the one hour we could see in the bigger picture inflows picked up for the first time to cross over in the volatility today and here it is with outflows crossing back down in the second half of the day so far a negative 0.59 i would not ignore this but as it's trying to push up here in the volatility it'll be crucial for it to level off and even better if it could start picking up towards the midpoint i'll be watching that going into next week now when we zoom into the volatility of the 15 minute we could see so far here on the 30 minute it's leveled off that's something to not ignore and when we zoom into the volatility you could see these inflows trying to pick up here earlier from that bounce from 466 to 468 and here it is leveling off and i'll be watching could it actually push up cross that midpoint going into the after hours and try to roll that over into the 30 minute and one hour as well now what are the key levels i would watch well the first thing is support guys and the first support that i'll watch is 466 and below that comes the 464 area right especially if these outflows continue to the downside here on the 15 minute and even pull down even further the 30 minute with it right if it continues to pull it away from the midpoint below the 465 area then i'll be watching 463 and the 460 level now to the upside it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to pick up here on the 15 minute switch from red to green cross that midpoint and continue this staircase effect here so far in the charts and the first resistance is the high of the day guys right up here at the 470 50 area not that far off of it it hit highs up here of 470.44 and then above that level if these inflows could roll over into the 30 minute as well and the one hour as both the 30 minute and the one hour are below as well so that's something to not ignore there and we could see here in the second half how fast a sharp push to the upside has happened here the 15 minute is pushing up it's going to be crucial for these inflows to pick up but if we zoom into the five minute we could see inflows trying to head towards the midpoint and that push up that's happening here live as we started this video it's back above 467 and it's trying to head towards 468 here so far highs up here of 467.84 so i'll be watching that going into the after hours and could it roll that over into the 15 minute and 30 minute but as i stated earlier the first resistance is up here at the 470 50 area and then above that i'll be watching 472 and then comes the 475 area so these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside i'm going to be watching the inflow versus outflows very carefully if they can break back above with strength on the 15 minute and the 30 minute and roll it over to the one hour and as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.